Brown Jackson, I will just ask you, do you think it's important that one of the nine people determining the most important interpretation of our laws knows what a woman is? He won't answer. Well, he can't. Hey guys, welcome back to Bambi TV. Guys, we're we'll reacting to Charles Kelly woke gender activists and tears. Guys, let's get straight into this. So my question is about what you said earlier about um, Justice Kentaji Brown's uh, Jackson's qualifications for the Supreme Court and how you mentioned that uh, she was unable to uh, define what a woman is, and I'd like to compare that to um, Justice Barrett. So, uh, Justice Jackson went to a public high school, attended an Ivy League law, law school, um, clerked for the Supreme Court, was a public defender, uh, served on a sentencing commission, was a district judge, and served on the Court of Appeals. And um, as for um, Justice Barrett, she was a Supreme Court clerk, and uh, she also sat in Court of Appeals. And when um, she was being questioned by the Senate during her confirmation, she uh, was asked to, to name the freedoms of the First Amendment, which um, she struggled with. So my question is, what makes Justice Jack, uh, Jack uh, pardon me, uh, Justice um, Barrett more qualified than Justice Brown? So first of all, what does your shirt say? I can't see that. Trump 22, 24 years in prison. Oh, okay, yeah. got it. Yeah, that's, got it. But we could talk about that in a second. Um, I, I was like, I was seeing double. I was like, are you a Trump fan or not? Because, <laughs> yeah, obviously not. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I mean, how is, by the way, how is Katanji Brown Jackson's Ivy League credentials impressive if she got in with affirmative action? Why is that impressive? And by the way, Amy Coney Barrett did her entire hearing without a shred of notes in front of her. You remember that? She had nothing but a notepad, all from memory. Katanji Brown Jackson, I will just ask you, do you think it's important that one of the nine people determining the most important interpretation of our laws knows what a woman is? He won't answer. Well, he can't. Right. <laughs> um, <laughs> they can't. Well, my counter to that is that we shouldn't really be seeing the world in black and white. Um, it has looked like a robot. And a woman is, it's more than what meets uh, the eye for uh, definition. Uh, uh, no, it's not. Uh, <laughs> no, we should see the world through male and female. Yes. Yeah. Fuck. Fuck. Well, why? Because yeah. I live in reality, not in Narnia or some sort of weird, created academic yeah. abstract space that doesn't exist. So why shouldn't a person be socially welcome to identify with a gender outside of the binary? Well, anyone can pretend to be something they're not, but that doesn't True. make them the thing that they're not. Can I be black? No. No. Oh, but why can't I socially become black? Blackface, right? I can pretend, wear camouflage, masquerade as something that I'm not, right? How's right. that different than a trans person? Race and gender are two completely separate things. They have uh -huh. nothing to do with each other. And the existence of being transgender does not imply the existence of being transracial. So you can, you can pretend to say that you have ovaries when you don't, but you can't put makeup on to pretend to be a black person. What transgender women are claimed to have ovaries? Uh, there's lots of men that pretend to have ovaries. In yes. fact, the CDC guidance says right now that men can chest feed. Do you think men can chest feed? That's not the uh, uh, sole uh, criterion mm -hmm. for being. So let me ask you a question. What is a woman? You can. A woman is someone who identifies as one. Answer the yeah. question without saying the word woman. You can't say the word woman. That's, that's called circular reasoning. It's like yeah. saying a tree is something that looks like a tree. So I'll ask again, what is a woman? A woman is a person who lives a lifestyle aligned with feminine characteristics, not necessarily your chromosomes or your genitals. So, so someone who just wears a dress. So what you are doing is you are reducing womanhood to a costume. Yes. Yes. <laughs> mm. 
No. Um, so, are you suggesting that, like, a transgender woman goes about her day pretending to be a woman, but then when she gets home, she starts acting like a man? No, delusional in every part of life, I understand that, but that doesn't mean they're not delusional. Can, I mean, there, there's a series of mental conditions where you could pretend to be a wolf. Can you be trans species too? Does, does your own mental condition dictate external reality, yes or no? Yes. Not necessarily. Oh, God. Okay, then why do you believe that a biological man can become something that he is not because he thinks it? Because gender is not interchangeable with sex. Yeah, right. So there are zero genders. There are only two sexes. Gender is a made-up term that started in the academy in the 1960s. Talking about sex, which is the only thing that actually can be proven and that matters, X, 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 Y, I will ask the question again, why is it that a man can suddenly become a dress and can be treated exactly the same as a woman that is biologically, not just biologically different, but somebody that has a different brain, a different hormonal system, menstruate, have children, I'll be very honest with you. It is so unbelievably insulting to women to have men have to lecture yeah. that all it takes is some weird dude with testosterone can put makeup on, and a dress. wear a thong and a dress, and he suddenly becomes a woman. Here's at the essence of the issue, is that no matter how much surgery you do, no matter how many drugs you take, you don't stop being the thing that you were born. Yes. You don't get to determine your reality by a stroke of the will. I don't deny for a second that the trans person thinks that they are. Certain people think that they're younger than they are. Yes. Some people think they're taller than they are. Some people think they're richer than they are. Some people think they're innocent when they're not, like Bob Menendez. There's plenty of delusional people in this world. It's up for society to say no to the delusional and yes to reality. Yes. It is for us to not allow us to be reigned under the tyranny of somebody's imagination. Do you have a response? And then we'll wrap it up. I'm not going to put you on the spot. Right. I appreciate you being here tonight. Right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bro, I, I really can't believe that he lost his voice. Like, you know, when you think about, when you think about something very, very well, like the way some women feel like they're a 10. And when, honestly, like they're a good 7. And when they're put on the spot with other women, and other women are giving them facts to show them that they're not a 10. And... Now they start thinking, wait, why, why, why was I saying on my third? I think it's cool for you to believe that you are, you are more than you are. Like more like giving yourself hope. But you be, when you become delusional in a whole new topic, for you to say, I am a man and I can be a woman, you can act like it, but you can't be it. And that is where I feel people are getting it wrong because you cannot be something you're not. That when it comes to gender, like you cannot just, change it it's not something you can change it's like me saying i'm black and i want to change to white even if i use bleaching cream and stuff like that i'm still black michael jackson tried it and he was still black and i don't know why people try to like act like seriously i really don't see the point in it because i feel what i've heard through watching clips like this is the fact that people feel like they don't feel welcome as a man or they may feel like they feel they feel like they are men, like they feel welcome as men. They like doing some manly activities. And so men say they like doing some feminine activities. It's understandable. It does not mean it does not mean you are some people might consider you weird, but it does not mean like you are different. It's just that you like the different things. And it's cool. Not you saying I want to change my gender. So like it does not make sense. Like you finding fun in doing some feminine activities doesn't mean you have to change gender. Live your life as it does. Enjoy your feminine activities. And I feel some people do this stuff because they are bored. I will be honest. I feel some people say they are lonely. And if you change their gender, give them this, this joy, this happiness. 
seriously if you are about getting hobby go on tiktok watch videos come to my channel like do something with your time not thinking of how you change your gender but guys don't really think about this if you like share stuff on channel i'll see you next time guys please